oh, right, I don't do these because I, I, I just don't. I just saw this because I was like, hey, cool. <laughs> it's more about the web and PTB, you know, during, uh, I, d I actually didn't play as PTB this time because I just honestly forgot about it. But, I, you know, I heard the news about the, the good old twins. This came out basically an hour ago. Um, but yeah, you know, so now we got minor changes they did to the twins of the blight. Maps are still the same, it looks like. A minor change to that and a medium change to the other guy. So, so okay, during the PTP, the twins. <laughs> Major update. <laughs> Reverted their power again. Victor no longer latches the survivors who are put into a dying state, so they couldn't just be stuck. Which makes sense, so people aren't just being broken and dead. Like, constantly. You know, busy fuck. Uh, Victor once again la- Uh, reverted Victor once again latches onto the survivor that's injured, so he can't just attack again. Charlotte no longer gains a haste when Victor latches onto a survivor. <laughs> the dev notes. We received comments about the twins. What the fuck? We received comments about the twins during the uh, twin strength during the PGB. We have made we have made the decision to revert changes to Victor Pounds and keep the various quantity uh, quality of life improvements faster switching between Victor and Charlotte ability. We call Victor add-ons adjustments base kit inclusion. We may revisit the twins in an update if it seems necessary necessary to. Uh, but the uh, smaller tweaks will make the twins feel better to play. <laughs> so basically, they made them too fucking strong. People saw that that and saw that. Oh God, the twins! Something I gotta say, and I and I think it's fucking amazing and or just funny to me, is that anyone you see, like any big creator, creators in general, TikToks, anything, you see people saying the twins needed a rework. They needed to be super strong. They needed to rise the ranks. They rose the fucking ranks to S tier. I've I seen videos and I saw shit of it. And, um, yeah, they raised up the ranks. And when people saw the power the twins could have, they're like, dear God, this is a nightmare. Made everyone scared of the twins. It's like the only real big thing that made people kind of bad with the twins is Victor's collision is like so fucking buggy, you know? Like, you'd be running up a staircase, you know, you'd be running up a staircase, and then he gets stuck. Or he gets stuck on weird shit. You know, like, Victor's hitbox is so broken with the rest of the game, so. Well, I play, tw I play Twins half the time. Half the time, like, Victor gets stuck on a staircase. Like, if he charges pounds, he gets, like, I don't know, he turns into a brick. But that's different. Alright, the Blight changed his add-ons, summon add-ons. This will increase the initial rush duration of this. Uh, change the soul can then add on. Forgot they got rid of the bump collision thing, right? Yeah, okay. Talk about the Uh Feedback around the blight often centered on two add-ons to improve his collision detection. We made some adjustments of the add-ons to slightly lower their strength while still mattering their usefulness. The blight's collision detection will remain as it was in the PTB and will continue our ongoing to improve. I remember seeing the thing that people hated about it is. They got rid of his ability to basically hug walls. And that's what made the Blight, I believe, super strong. You know, one of the high, like the top tier killers. Because you would bump the fucking wall and slide with it. You'll be sliding with everything around you. So people can do those crazy turn tags, the hugging tags. And like, I, to me, I don't actually see that, like, why that's a big problem. Because, yeah, that means the, a good Blight player, or like a god-level Blight player, can attack you at weird angles or do something like that. But that makes sense, because they spent the time doing the skill. But they just didn't, so, so they, got really, they got rid of that. But, hey, better, you can increase your rush add-ons and your other shit by... Chris's initial rush duration by 0 0.5 was 1. <laughs> increase add-ons from 5% to 2 PTP. Okay. Decisive Strike. Minor update. They just removed the animation because I believe the animation made it clunkier, right? 
this PTB featured a new animation for Decides of Strike, which in which survivors would stab the killer to free themselves. This animation had too much of an effect on the perk's expected behavior, adding a delay before survivors would go free. We decided to remove the animation. It decided for Decides of Strike before the update released. The sun timer will remain five seconds for the time being. This last part means that they're still probably deciding or working on it for the time being. So it means it might not, it might not just be in a big uh, update thing. It might just be maybe they'll just say, "Hey, all right, here they changed something again." I don't know. I feel that's probably what they're going for, but I, I don't know to be honest there. Okay, ultimate weapon. It starts off with a note. Note: the following changes will be part of future update. <laughs> this perk will remain as it was on PTB in the meantime. Reverted: affected survivors will once again scream instead of their orbs being revealed. Changed: now affected survivors within 32 meters of a locker previously inside the killer's chair radius. I did see that like. Because I use I use ultimate weapon on like Nemesis and like other killers, I don't really see it being that powerful. <laughs> like yeah, they scream, but it's just like the Doctor Static Blast, it's not really that harmful. Because something about it is when you have an image of the person, like it's different from an aura, because an aura follows people. It follows them on a straight line, so they're going back and forth, back and forth. But the, uh, the screaming effect, you would see them here, and you have no idea which direction they went. They either went up, down, left, right, and everywhere, you know? So I, I never actually saw the reason to put aura. That and also I think because the aura part just made it seem like people use distortion or anything else. It just seems kind of weird. Uh, we received a mix, some mixed feedback during the PTP. While this perk was less appealing for some killers, it remained a strong choice for killers with high mobility to make strength to make its strength a little more even across the uh, more killers. We've changed ultimate weapons base on locker position rather than the killers. This way, without uh, without this way, killers without traversal abilities or a smaller tear radius can still take advantage oh wait that's what i mean okay so the change is when you open the locker within that 32 meter radius which i i don't even know because i don't know how maps work with meters is so with base so say so if this is the locker if a is the locker everything around it say it cuts off where the u and or the l is so everything around it people will scream but if they're outside of it they won't okay that makes sense. Uh, tear radius, and more consistently without being highly, without being excessively on high mobility killers, exclusively on high mobility killers. With this in mind, we also brought back the screen will allow it to synergize with perks once again. Okay, next time so. And yes. Okay, yeah, that's, so that's pretty much it. So a lot of changes. A lot of reverts again, but yeah, some some things that are pretty pretty good. As a killer player myself, I, I think it's a pretty good balance. No, that, that's really it. No shit. But yeah, uh, I I got no outros and shit. Um, if you found this helpful somehow, give me a, a sub or follow, whatever you say on 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 stuff. Bye.